Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. In this video, I'm going to go through question number four from the January 2012 GCE Core Mathematics C2 paper. And uh, this is a question about logarithms. And I've been asked to answer question for part B, but I will just go through the, uh, the whole question. Um, given that y equals 3x squared, show that the log to the base 3 of y equals 1 plus 2 log to the base 3 of x. Okay, so basically this question you have to uh, start off with your y equals 3x squared. And because they've told you what you have to show, you have to be very careful to show your steps properly. Don't just, you know, be sloppy with that because you want to get all the marks and you want to show all the steps because the answer is already there for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take obviously the log to the base 3 because in what you have to show there's log to the base 3. So I'm going to take log to the base 3 of both sides. So have log to the base 3 of y equals log to the base 3 of all of this 3x squared. Okay now common mistake what uh, people do here is they think this power can just go in front of the log using the power law log um, you know to the base a b to the power of c is equal to c log to the base a b they think that you can use the power law with this two and you can't because this two is only being is only the x being raised to this power of two not the three if it was log to the base three and that was three x squared then you could use a power law if that power is referring to both those things inside here but it's not like that so be very careful about that before we can use a power law we have to split this up using the product so here we have log to base 3 y is equal to and this is going to be log to the base 3 of 3 plus log to the base 3 of x squared now i'm, I'm showing the steps very uh, you know carefully here because i want to make sure that we get all the marks so now we're going to have log to the base 3 of y equals now log to the base 3 of 3 is 1 of course anything you have like because basically what it means is log to the base 3 of 3 is equal to something well 3 to the power of something gives you 3 well that must be 1 okay so log to the base of something of itself will always be 1 and then you've got here plus 2 using the power law now you can use it log to the base 3x and that's exactly what we had to show and that's done okay now for part b it says hence or otherwise solve this equation okay whenever it says hence in a question it always means using what you've just done so if we take what we had to show in the first part of the question that's going to have some um bearing on this answer okay it says or otherwise so that means there are other ways to solve it which there are however the hence way is normally the easy way of solving okay so if it says hence or otherwise solve this equation it means that there's some link between what we've just done now and what we can do to solve this equation all right so i'm going to show you the hence way first and then i'll show you the otherwise way just so that you can see that you could do it even if you didn't spot this pattern but basically if you look at what we've been given to solve and we look at what we solved earlier we can see that you've got one plus two log to the base three x and here you've also got one plus two log to the base three of x so we can see that that is equal to log to the base three of y so let me just replace this with log to the base 3 of y. So log to the base 3 of y equals log to the base 3 of 28x minus 9. So basically now we've got this, they're both of the same uh, base, log to the base 3. The whole of this side is the base log 3. The whole of this side is log to the base 3. Okay, it's one term and one term. I can say, okay, it's like, you know, before this step somebody might have had y equals 28x minus 9 and the next step take the log to the base 3 of both sides you'd get this so it's we can just go from here to here we can say get rid of the log to the base 3s simple as that if log to the base 3 of y is equal to log to the base 3 of 28 minus 28x minus 9 that means y must be the same as 28x minus 9 because if you take log to the base 3 of both of them you they will be equal to each other that means y must be the same as 28x minus 9 Okay, now, we can see that y is equal to 3x squared, as they told us. So I could replace the y with 3x squared. So you've got 3x squared equals 28x 
minus 9, which is now a quadratic equation which we can solve. So let me bring everything to one side to make it say equal 0, so we can try to use the zero product property. So you've got 3x squared minus 28x plus 9 equals 0. Now let's see if we can factorize this. Let's see if we can factorize this. We need to find two numbers whose product is the same as 3x three, three squared and 9, which is 20. So you've got 3x squared here, and you've got plus 9 here. So the product has to be equal to 27x squared, positive product, and the sum has to be equal to minus 28x. So they must be the same sign. They must both be negatives. And two numbers multiply to give you 27 and add to give you 28. Well, it must be 27x and 1x. So minus x, if I multiply them together, I get 27x squared positive. If I add them together, I get negative 28x. So those are the right combination of numbers. So now I can take out the common factor. So from this, these two, this row here, the common factor is 3x. And from this column here, the common factor is x. 3x times something gives you minus 27. So that's minus 9. 3x times something gives you minus 27 x that's minus 9 and x times something gives me minus 1 x that's minus 1 so now I have basically factorized this expression okay so now let's get some more space so this expression now is equal to we can say we've got 3x minus 1 times x minus 9 equals 0 so we've got 3x minus 1 is 0 or x minus 9 is 0 so x is going to be 1 third or x is going to be 9 and there we have the solution to this problem can I put 1 third inside this equation uh, yes I can if it's, it's negative I can't put it in here you see you have to make sure that the values you get are able to be put in the equation can I put one side a third on this side 1 third of 28 is it more than 9 yes it is 28 divided by 3 Okay, you have to be careful to make sure that you can put it in because if it's in log to the base of something of a negative number, then you can't put it in. If this is more than nine, which it is, because I know twenty-seven divided by nine is uh, twenty-five divided by twenty-seven divided by three is nine. So yeah, it's more than nine. That's fine. So the both the values of x when you substitute them into this formula when x equals nine, yes, okay, you're going to get um, values of x. These both values of x are valid to go into the original equation. If one of the x values caused us to get the log of a negative number, then we would not be able to accept that solution. It would not be um, a solution which satisfies the equation. It would cause it to be undefined. So we have to exclude that. So always check when you're doing log equations that your solutions that you find will actually fit the problem. They will cause, if they cause it to be log of a negative number, then it won't cause it because the log curve looks something like this. Okay, it can never, x can never be negative. Okay, it can never be negative. In fact, it can never be zero even. Zero or negative would be undefined. Okay, so that's why you have to make sure. But this case, no problem. Both these answers are perfectly fine. So we can accept both of them. And there we have the answer to question number four from January 2012. CIE, oh, sorry, uh, GCE, um, um, the core maths to C2 paper. Um, now, if you want to see other questions um, from this paper, then you can click on the link that comes over here. If you want to see other questions from logarithms of now, it's now called P2, the new syllabus, you'll find a link over here. So I'll include this this question in those in those questions. And um, if you would like to see some other P2 style papers, you can click on the card at the top and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon that should appear somewhere in this part of the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.